On the final frontier, round and round it goes. Where it drops, nobody knows. China <laughs> abandoned its space station back in 2016. And since then, it's been losing altitude and falling to Earth. But when and where will it land? CBS News correspondent Chip Reed takes a look. Imagine this, a Chinese space station is spinning out of control and hurtling toward Earth. Most of it will burn up in the atmosphere, but what's left will come crashing down sometime in the next week, striking somewhere between 43 degrees north and 43 degrees south, which includes most of the United States. If you find that frightening, space expert John Logsdon of George Washington University has a word of advice. Relax. So it, the chances of a piece of this thing hitting somebody on Earth are pretty slim. Very slim. Very slim. That, but not zero. Okay, not zero, but the chances are about one million times smaller than the odds of winning the Powerball jackpot. So really, relax. China launched the Tiangong space station in 2011. Tiangong means heavenly palace, but it's really just one of more than half a million pieces of space junk orbiting the Earth. It sounds like kind of a flying RV. Uh, about that. Uh, you know, like a Winnebago in space. And as we all learned as children, what goes up must come down. It gradually slows down over time and slows down and slows down till eventually it's not going fast enough to stay in orbit. If the Tiangong space station sounds familiar, you probably saw gravity with Sandra Bullock. I'm about to undock from Tiangong. Exactly when the real Tiangong will hit the Earth is still up in the air. At this point, we know within plus or minus two days of April the 1st, it's likely to re-enter. April Fools. April Fools. April Fools Day, space junk with a sense of humor. Chip Reed, CBS News, Washington.